Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel PT Analytics. In this video, I will talk about how to show top and percentage customers dynamically. Let's get started. So I have connected with the sample superstore, write the customer name. So total number of customer in this sheet is 800. Now drag the sales. We can see the sales of each customer. First thing, we have to sort the customer name in descending order. Now the customer name is coming in the descending order based on their sales value. Now to show the top N percentage where the N will be dynamically changed, we need to create a parameter. Give it a name, top N percentage. Data type will be integer and allowable values will be all. Or we can keep it range. Minimum is one, maximum is 100. We can select the uh, value in this parameter. We can select the range from one to 100. Now to achieve this top end percentage customer, we have to understand two function. One is index. Second is size. So index function calculation I have already created where I have used index function. Let's use this. Now you can see index function will give the index of current row within the partition. So we can see the index of each row. And we have index from one to till the last row. So number of rows is 800. Index will also be till 800. Second function is size. Size function will give the number of rows in the partition. So if I convert to discrete, you can see the total number of rows is 800. This size function will also return 800. Now we have to write one calculation. Whatever I select in the parameter, if I type one or 10, that percentage uh, customers we have to show in this view. So total number of customer is 800. If I type one, we have to show 1% of customer. Right, so we have to show the top eight. Let's implement this. Top n percentage multi multiply by size. Whatever we are getting, just divide it with 100. So what we are doing is we have taken the one in the parameter. This calculation will be one into 800 divided by 100. So we are showing one, we have to show the 1% of total. So if you do this, it will return 8. Right? So this calculation we have to use and uh, whatever number we are getting. So from this calculation, we will get 8. We have to compare this with index function index should be less than equal to that number. This calculation will return true or false. So let's drag this into the filter shell and select true. So we have selected one and one percentage of total is it. If I type 10 or if I select here 10%, Total number of customer is 800, 10% is 80. Now in this view, it will show you the 80 customers. Now you can make it dynamic. You can select any number of percentage. Based on the selection, it will show you the number of customer in this view. Now this index and size is not required. We can drag the sales into the column shell and we can show this data into the bar chart. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much.